Um, good, e good evening. You are welcome to another episode of our lecture. Today we are going to look at uh, acids, bases. Um, these are things that most of the time we know them by virtue of uh, their action on, on materials. Uh, but then there are definitions for them uh, in chemistry. Uh, so many people have proposed a definition. Uh, Reynolds has his definition. Bronsted and Lowry do have his. And Lewis also have a definition for these uh, chemicals. Um, let us look at uh, Reynolds. He said acids are substances that have uh, hydrogen ion or hydrozonium ion and they can give it uh, out in solution. They have hydrogen ion and can they give it out in solution. Um, such substances are referred to as uh, acid. And substances that have uh, OH, hydroxide or ion, are referred to as uh, bases. Well, these ones are referred to as uh, acid. That is a Reynolds uh, definition. But however, there are substances, uh, of course, that do have uh, uh, that behave like a basis or, or alkali, uh, but they don't have a OH. Example of such sub substances are the carbonates. Uh, the carbonates, they, they, they are basic in nature, but they don't have a OH. Um, the, the, that is the shortfall of uh, Arrhenos' uh, definition of uh, acids. Then uh, Brosted and Lowry, what does they say? What they said is that acid is uh, any substances that can produce a uh, proton, that is proton, proton donor, any substance that can produce or donate proton, and a base is any substance that can uh, accept uh, proton, accept proton. That is, acid is a proton donor and a base it's, a, it's an acceptor of a proton. That is what uh, um, um, Lewis, which is more broader than what our Hennels have said. And uh, Professor Lewis on his own did uh, describe acid, uh, he did describe acid as uh, a, a lone pair, a lone pair uh, acceptor of electron, a lone pair acceptor of electron, a low pair acceptor of electron, that is an acid, according to Professor Lewis, and uh, a donor of the lone pair, a donor of the lone pair, uh, a donor of the lone pair, of the lone pair is referred to as a base. A donor of the lone pair uh, is referred to as a, a base. Uh, now, when you talk of the lone pair, let us look at ammonia, for example. Ammonia, it has a lone pair here. When you look at the structure of ammonia, the atomic number of ammonia is uh, five. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's five. This is two, one, two, three. And then our nitrogen is five. Our hydrogen is three. The hydrogen will key into this. Um, the hydrogen will key into this, the hydrogen will key into this, and we have our lone pair here. The atomic number of uh, nitrogen is uh, 7. This is 1, 2, and uh, 5. This 5, uh, any substance, uh, ammonia can easily give out, it has the lone pair, uh, hence it is a base, since it has the lone pair and it can donate this uh, lone pair for an acceptor of uh, the lone pair is the acid. That is, uh, acceptor of the lone pair is the acid. The pro a hydrogen, a proton, can easily accept this lone pair to form an uh, ammonium uh, compound, to form an ammonium compound, to form an ammonium compound. Uh, hence, uh, these are the three basic definitions of uh, acids and uh, bases. Arrhenos define acid as substance that has hydrogen ion or hydrogen ion or hydrozonium ion to give uh, that is a giver of hydrozonium ion and brost and uh, also define a base as any substance that have OH group OH negative group uh, a base but however we say the carbonates like sodium carbonates sodium carbonates they, if they dissociate they form sodium uh, positive two plus uh, carbonate two negative there's no OH there, hence it doesn't really key into Arrhenos definition of a base. Where Brosted and Lowry, he said any substance that can donate a proton 
a such substance uh, as it, and an acceptor of a proton uh, is, uh, is, is a base. Of course, in this case, the, the carbonate can easily accept a proton. This is two negative plus uh, two uh, proton uh, to form to form this uh, to form this HCO3. Hence, uh, the the the, pro, the this one is the base because it can easily accept uh, a proton and acceptor of uh, the acceptor of uh, a proton according to Brosted and uh, Laurie and uh, Professor Lewis on his own chose to define acids as an acceptor of a lone pair of electron uh, and a base as a donor of uh, a lone pair of uh, electron. In our next lecture we are going to look at properties of acids uh, and bases and at the same time we are going to look at uh, the classification of uh, acids. We have uh, our mineral acid, we have organic acid, we have, we list some of these examples and uh, we tend to know more about uh, uh, acids and uh, bases and possibly we are going to treat uh, salts which is the product of the reaction of an acid in a reaction known as uh, uh, neutralization uh, reaction in our next uh, lecture. Thank you for uh, listening to our lecture until we meet in our next lecture, have a beautiful day.